high-risk pregnancy. This word scares everybody again. So what's a high-risk pregnancy? Pregnancies are normally, you know, uh, they, we have a regular outcome, normal, you know, deliveries. So 90% of the pregnancies follow the normal routine. But 10% of pregnancies are labeled high risk. So what's high risk pregnancy? Any risks or complications that can, you know, put the risk, uh, put the mother and the baby in risk is called as uh, high risk pregnancies. Generally, 6 to 8% of the pregnancies are categorized as high risk pregnancies. So how do you know whether you fall into high risk pregnancy or not? Yes advanced maternal age this is the commonest thing these days but you know anything more than 30 35 has become very normal these days to have babies at that age but anything more than 35 we also consider as a high risk pregnancy but more than 45 more so is advanced very advanced age so that's it's very very risky at that point of time and coming to obesity diabetes hypertension any kind of heart diseases or any kind of autoimmune diseases, kidney diseases, liver diseases. These are the medical conditions which the mother has already and then she is planning for her pregnancy. So we categorize them as high risk pregnancies. When it comes to pregnancies or the outcomes of pregnancies regarding with the previous pregnancy outcomes, for example, if you had stillbirths before, you had developed any uh, thrombus or clots in your legs, that's called the DVT. Or if you have multiple pregnancies now, like for example, you're carrying triplets, again, we call it as high risk pregnancy. If you had lost preterm, I mean babies preterm, babies lost pregnancy because of a short cervix or multiple preterm uh, losses if you had had or multiple miscarriages, we call it as high risk pregnancies. If you have problems in the present pregnancy with the placenta like placenta previa, placenta accreta, so we again call this as high risk pregnancy. So how do I recognize a high risk pregnancy and how do I deal with it? Obviously when you go to the doctor where you have a discussion, so you are going to be categorized. So doctor will tell you with what could be the complications and where is the best place for you to deliver. So how are you going to deal with by yourself? Knowledge. You need to know about your condition. Knowledge is power. So you need to discuss with the doctor. Ask her for materials. Please don't read everywhere. Ask for the genuine materials. Please read from there and get yourself knowledge about your condition. So knowing about your condition, preparing your support system at home. You need to have a support system, be it in the hospital or be it at home so that you do not fall into trouble. And finally is choosing a place for your delivery. So where do you choose your delivery to be? It should, the center should be a high risk center where everything is available, including very highly skilled staff, obstetricians, the nurses, the anesthetic team, the pediatric team, you also should have a blood bank or storage of blood inside. So a medical team which takes care of you. Basically, uh, in a nutshell, if I say, if it's a VPO categorized as a high risk pregnancy, kindly look for all the facilities available in the hospital which you are going to and it's always teamwork which helps the patient and her baby. So all the best for your pregnancies.